be very delicate here because I don't know where that. I don't really know where that spear or skewer is, so I don't want to cause any more injuries. Mari Claude from Rescue Group Wires has brought an injured Karawong into the Bondi Clinic. Okay, so could you just hold his beak there just so he doesn't get any strong beak you have there? Yeah, he's got my finger in it. Ah, God, yes. <laughs> and now he's got my... We can see it goes through the top here. But is that body or is that wing? Let's just roll him gently. Okay, so it's going through his wing. Straight through. So I don't really want to remove this, this skewer here with him conscious because the stress of doing that is going to be too much for him. But also if a blood vessel is actually attached to that mm. and that ruptures, with him awake, he could bleed to death. The only option we're left with really is to perform surgery with an anaesthetic. But it's an anaesthetic with risks, and those risks are only increased by the fact this Karawong isn't well. He's looking lively enough that I think he'll be able to handle an anaesthetic. Chris is starting the delicate surgery to remove a skewer from the wing of a wild Karawong. I just need to work out exactly what we're looking at here. Looking at this now, it's pretty clear. I mean, you can see the skewer is at the heart of the problem, but in turn, it's actually created a second issue, which is each time he moves, he actually spikes himself, and that's where this abscess here has come from as well. So today, we'll have to take care of both problems. When you consider that Arrow has been pierced with a skewer, he's been barely able to fly, and must have been in so much pain, it's really a miracle he's even got this far. You can see now, the problem we're facing is that this skewer has been in for so long, it's actually become essentially a part of Arrow. I mean, Arrow's attached tissue to it and, and tried to live with it when really it's doing him no good and he needs to let go of it, but now his body just isn't wanting to. Very well attached. It's not coming through. The fact this is an old injury makes it even more of a challenge because not only are you fighting against the body's best efforts to fix the problem itself, but you also could be looking at a long-standing infection. Both those together make this quite a difficult procedure. So I'm having to be quite forceful and get in and around the base of it and take away all the attachments that the body just naturally forms to anything that's foreign. Oh, that should be enough. One final push. There we go. There it is. So you can just see how much there was hooked in there. Arrow's ordeal isn't over yet. Chris now needs to remove the abscess that has formed around the skewer. Just try to neatly cut around the base of it. That's actually not an abscess. I think you might actually have another bit of skewer. Really? You've got to feel for Arrow. I mean, not only has he had to deal with that piece of wood stuck into his body, but it turns out he's got another piece right next to it. He's had to be a fighter. Hey in there, buddy. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to close up. Get some stitches there. I'm pretty happy. Looking good. That's our last stitch there. All right, so I'm hoping after being incredibly unlucky, Arrow, he's just had his luck change. Chris is making a house call with a special delivery. Hello. So. Hello. What happened? We have good news. Good. Everything's gone really well. When Marie Claude first brought Arrow into the clinic, she was convinced that I'd say that he had to be put down. So now to be able to bring him back to where it all began, minus the skewer, it's a good feeling. So, you need to see the new Arrow. Hey, look at him. All right, so hey, baby. he's looking lively. 
Arrow will stay in Marie Claude's care for another six weeks. Chris will then assess if he's well enough to be set free. Probably the best plan is to give him some food for a few days. Yes. Get his strength back. And then once he's healed up a little bit more, then he can be released. Does that yes. sound OK? Yes, we're going to take good care of him. Hello, my bird. This is food coming for you before you go away. Last meal. Six weeks after delicate surgery to remove a skewer from its wing, Arrow the Currawong is full of energy and ready to receive visitors. Come through. OK. Looking oh, forward to I'm seeing you. I'm so pleased to see you. <laughs> How's he been going? He's been doing very well, I hope. He's been eating and he's very active. He wants to go. Hello, Jim. He's not still at all, is he? No, no, no. It's, he wants to go now. And look, whatever you're doing, it's working because he is lively. Probably the most encouraging thing I can see in Arrow right now is the fact that he's pacing the cage. You've got to remember he's a wild bird and he wants to be back in the wild. And that right now is the most important sign. And the great thing is that this wing looks like it can function without any problems. And that, that skewer has missed all the bones, all the blood vessels, luckily and also the nerves, so there should be no problem flying. In fact, I'm pretty sure Arrow is actually telling us that he's ready. Oh, you're such a lucky bird. Looking at Arrow's wounds, they've healed up incredibly well. So there's no reason to hold this wild bird back. It's time to send Arrow in the right direction. It's you, it's all you, go. Oh, it's <laughs> the side of the house. Yeah, it's no goodbyes, nothing. Just went straight through. I'm glad his ordeal is, is over. And for me, you know, watching an animal slowly die in front of you every day, mm. it was really stressful. Yeah. So you did good for me too. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. You're a beauty, Mary Claude. <laughs> well done to you, okay? Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.